we're going to visit the Adobe uh, XD UI Kit website and we're going to download basically random UI kits just to test export kit. So we can simply open it with the archive utility and let's just get to. Now, once we have our UI kits, uh, what we need to do is just basically open it in XD. And you'll see that this is basically a default UI kit found on the Adobe website. Now, there are a lot of different elements within each artboard, which is great because this will basically demonstrate how export kit will treat uh, any design you have. So we can simply go ahead and export now. Let's select HTML. And this will only take a moment and it's basically collecting and rendering all the content into HTML for you. So we want to select where we want to export it to. And once we have that, simply click open and it will create your folder in that location. Now your folder, and you'll see in our documents, it will contain all the asset files for rendering. So we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, take a look at the output. Now we can drag any file and in essence what we'll do is we'll notice that all our content from our artboards is rendered now within our actual HTML. Now for quick viewing uh, what we can do is we can simply just basically remove the file name and this will bring us to the index so we can quickly QA and you'll see here's another rendition. And we can quickly QA now without having to go back and forth. We can simply just use the back button and this will show us all the content that rendered from our actual design. So let's just QA a couple just to ensure. Now, because this is our initial release, what happens is there is functionality that we are adding, such as responsive pages. Uh, but you'll see that what it does is it will do a basic as is rendition of your artboards to HTML. Now you'll also receive your CSS and your images.